The phonology of Danish is similar to that of the other Scandinavian languages such as Swedish and Norwegian, but it also has distinct features setting it apart from the phonologies of its most closely related languages. For example Danish has a suprasegmental feature known as stod which is a kind of laryngeal phonation that is used phonemically. It also exhibits extensive lenition of plosives, which is noticeably more common than in the neighboring languages. Because of that and a few other things, spoken Danish is rather hard to understand for Norwegians and Swedes, although they can easily read it. Consonants <inaudible> 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 In distinct pronunciation it is possible to distinguish at least 20 consonants in most variants of Danish. Per meter, p, b, are bilabial, f, v, are labiodental, whereas, is labialized velar. n, t, d, l, have been variously described as apical alveolar n, t, d, l, and laminal denti alveolar n, t, d, l, intervocalic, d, between two unstressed vowels may be realized as flap, P, T, K, are aspirated and, in the case of, T, also strongly affricated voiceless lenus in syllable onset, B, D, hereafter transcribed as P, T, K, for simplicity. Aspiration is lost in syllable coda, for simplicity, the aspirated and affricated allophone of, T, is often transcribed as, D, T, i.e. as if it were just affricated. In some varieties of standard Danish but not the Copenhagen dialect, t, is just aspirated, without the affrication. b, d, are unaspirated voiceless lenus in syllable onset, b, d. In syllable coda, d, and sometimes, b, are open, eth. Becomes after front vowels and after back vowels, final, b, d, may be realized as p, t, k, in particular in distinct speech. In case of the alveolar plosive, in this position it may be either aspirated and affricated t or just aspirated t. According to Kreck et al., 2009, all consonants are realized as lenus, not just the plosives. The exact place of articulation of k varies, it is more front pre-velar k before front vowels, and more back post-velar k before back vowels. Bornholmsk dialect features even stronger fronting of k before front vowels, i.e. to palatal c. Voiceless continuants, f, s, h, and are fricatives, s, is an apical alveolar non-retracted sibilant s, but some speakers realize it as dental s. It is always voiceless. h, is only weakly fricated. Between vowels, it is often voiced occurs only after s, or t. Since j doesn't occur after these phonemes, can be analyzed as j, which is devoiced after voiceless alveolar frication. This makes it unnecessary to postulate a phoneme in Danish. Among voiced continuants, the lateral l is an approximant, whereas v, j, r, and vary between being fricatives and approximants. v is either a voiced fricative v, or, most often, a voiced approximant, which, according to Nina Granum, is more accurately described as a short voiced labiodental plosive b is a voiced velarized laminal alveolar approximant eth. It is weak, acoustically similar to the cardinal vowels, and very rarely, can be realized as a voiced laminal alveolar non-sibilant fricative eth. British phonetician John C. Wells commented on his blog about the quality of Danish, that to him, it sounds awfully like a lateral. A similar comment was made by Haberland 1994, who said that Danish is frequently mistaken for an l by second language learners. An acoustically similar sound but apical rather than laminal has been reported to occur as an intervocalic allophone of d in the Dahalo language spoken in Kenya. j is an approximant, but when it occurs word finally after l, it is articulated more strongly than usual, sometimes even as a fricative. An additional voiced continuant, namely the voiced velar fricative, occurred in older standard Danish. Some older speakers still use it in high register, but most often as an approximant. It corresponds to three sounds in contemporary standard Danish. Phonemically, v, after back vowels and, r. Phonemically, j, after front vowels. j, phonemically, j, after, l. r, has been variously described as voiced uvular fricative, or approximant. Initial, r, is most often an approximant. According to Granum, the fricative variant is voiceless, chi. Voiced supra-pharyngeal 
approximant voiced pharyngeal approximant when emphasizing a word word initial r may be realized as a voiced uvular trill fricative the alveolar realization r of r is very rare according to torp 2001 it occurs in some varieties of jutlandic dialect and only for some speakers mostly the elderly the alveolar realization is considered non-standard even in classical opera singing it is probably the only european language in which this is the case According to Basbolt 2005, it occurs or used to occur until recently in very old forms of certain conservative dialects in northern Jutland and Bornholm. L, J, R are voiceless L, tilde after aspirated P, T, K, where the aspiration is realized as devoicing of the following sonorant. Note, however, that the sequence TJ is normally realized as a voiceless alveolopalatal affricate T. The Danish allophones can be analyzed into 15 distinctive consonant phonemes, PTKBD, MNFSHVJRL, where, PTKD, VJR, have different pronunciation in syllable onset versus syllable coda, instances of, can be analyzed as, N, as it only occurs before, or, K, and does not contrast with, N. This makes it unnecessary to postulate an, phoneme in Danish, assuming that a following, is sometimes deleted. Topic vowels Modern Standard Danish has around 20 different vowel qualities. These vowels are shown here in a narrow transcription. In the rest of the article and in IPA transcriptions of Danish in Wikipedia the diacritics are usually omitted. The following vowels are allophones. Phonemes are discussed below. Stressed close vowels I is close front unrounded I. John Wells's impression is that it is slightly centralized I, Y is close near front rounded Y. U is close back rounded U, E is near close front unrounded E. Conservative speakers realize it is close mid front unrounded E. Estrup and Hansen 2004 state that the short version is more open than the long one, but according to Latifoget and Johnson 2010, in conservative Danish the difference is very small. Stressed mid vowels is close mid front unrounded E. Conservative speakers realize it is mid front unrounded. Estrup and Hansen 2004 state that the short version is more open than the long one, but according to Latifoget and Johnson 2010, in conservative Danish the difference is very small. O is close mid near front rounded O stroke. Estrup and Hansen 2004 state that the short version is more open than the long one, but according to Latifoget and Johnson 2010, in conservative Danish the difference is very small. O has been variously described as close mid back rounded O and near close back rounded O. The short version is more open than the long one, and, in conservative Danish, also more central. In Herning, the long allophone tends to be diphthongized to O, or even U. O is mid near front rounded. Estrup and Hansen 2004 state that the short version is more open than the long one, but according to Latifoget and Johnson, 2010, in conservative Danish the difference is very small is mid near back rounded, the short version is more open than the long one, and, in conservative Danish, also more central. A is open mid front unrounded. Estrup and Hansen 2004 state that the short version is more open than the long one. Is open mid near front rounded. Basbolt 2005 transcribes it with the symbol, and writes that Nina Granum uses two different symbols for the vowels in these and similar words, Gore she transcribes with semi-narrow transcription and o narrow transcription, and Gran she transcribes with semi-narrow transcription and narrow transcription. Clearly, there is variation within Standard Danish on this point, elsewhere in this article, are not distinguished from and the former symbols are not used. Stressed open vowels a is near open front unrounded a. Certain older or upper class speakers realize it is open front unrounded a. Is near open near front rounded. Some speakers realize it as i.e. the same as, and Basbolt 2005 transcribes both and with. Is open central unrounded. Conservative speakers realize it is open back unrounded. Estrup and Hansen 2004 state that the short version is more open than the long one, but according to Latifoget and Johnson 2010, in conservative Danish the difference is very small. Is near open near back somewhat rounded. Basbol 2005 states that many standard Copenhagen speakers of his generation generally pronounce the diphthong in narrow IPA as, and that it is the main variant among younger speakers of standard Copenhagen. Has been variously described as open mid back rounded and near open back rounded. Unstressed vowels is a lax, relatively close unrounded neutral front vowel. It is an assimilatory variant of 
is a lax, relatively close rounded neutral back vowel, which may be realized the same as short o. It is an assimilatory variant of is a mid-central vowel with variable rounding tilde. For some speakers, it may be more consistently realized as rounded, albeit only in very distinct speech. In rapid speech, postvocalic tends to have the same quality as the preceding vowel, as in e.g. stu sd, u, u, living room, or pige pii, girl. May be any of the following, near open central unrounded, retracted mid central unrounded, or simply the same as stressed, a near open near back somewhat rounded vowel, which is probably the usual pronunciation. Granum 1998 transcribes both and as non-syllabic vowels is a non-syllabic, lax, relatively close unrounded neutral front vowel. Granum 1998 transcribes it the same as j is a non-syllabic, lax, relatively close rounded neutral back vowel. Granum 1998 transcribes it as w is a non-syllabic, central retracted neutral vowel pharyngeal glide. Essentially, it is a non-syllabic equivalent of Granum 1998 transcribes it as and occur only in unstressed syllables. With the exception of a and all vowels may be either long and short. Long vowels may have stod, thus making it possible to distinguish 30 different vowels in stressed syllables. However, vowel length and stod are most likely features of the syllable rather than features of the vowel. These allophones can be analyzed into 11 distinctive vowels, where allophonic alternation mainly depends on whether the vowel occurs before or after r. The vowel only occurs in unstressed syllables. All other phonemes may occur both stressed and unstressed. The three-way distinction in front rounded vowels, yoo, is upheld only before nasals, e.g., sins, son s sones, zines, sins, sons, seems, sins, sons. Furthermore, there are only three words where y occurs before a nasal in a stressed syllable: zines, brinye, him, seems, armor, him, a, and are largely in complementary distribution. However, a two phoneme interpretation can be justified with reference to the unexpected vowel quality in words like Andre and others or Anderleeds and la ethes different, and an increasing number of loanwords. The vowel system is unstable, and according to at least one study, the contemporary spoken language might be experiencing a merger of several of these phonemes. The following vowel pairs may be merged by some speakers e with e with with ash o stroke with O with O O with O with Topic Prosody Topic Stress Unlike the neighboring mainland Scandinavian languages Swedish and Norwegian, the prosody of Danish does not have phonemic pitch. Stress is phonemic and distinguishes words like billist b i l i s d cheapest and ballist b i l i s d car driver. Verbs lose their stress and stod, if any, with an object without a definite or indefinite article, e.g. Jens Spicer et Broad James S B I S Ed B Ev Jens eats a loaf tilde Jens Spicer Broad James S B is B Ev Jens eats bread. In names, only the surname is stressed, e.g. Johann Louis S. H. B. Ash Joanne Louise Heiberg. <laughs> Stod In a number of words with stress on the final syllable, long vowels and sonorants may exhibit a prosodic feature called stod, thrust. Acoustically, vowels with stod tend to be a little shorter and feature creaky voice. Historically, this feature operated as a redundant aspect of stress on monosyllabic words that had either a long vowel or final voiced consonant. Since the creation of new monosyllabic words, this association with monosyllables is no longer as strong. Some other tendencies include Polysyllabic words with the nominal definite suffix et may exhibit stod Polysyllabic loanwords with final stress on either a long vowel or a vowel with a final sonorant typically feature stod if thongs with an underlying long vowel always have stod. These are e, ash, o stroke, i, e, ash, y, o stroke, o, i, e, ash, y, o stroke, u, o. 
Out of these, all but e, ash, o stroke, ash, o, have a corresponding stodless variant, i.e. with an underlying short vowel. Conversely, there are diphthongs that appear only without stod, which are u. This means that neither nor can start a diphthong with stod in case of the latter vowel it is because it is inherently short, whereas cannot start a diphthong without stod. All of the diphthongs ending with appear both with and without stod. Text sample The sample text is an indistinct reading of the first sentence of the north wind and the sun is transcribed, whereas the distinction between and is not made. Orthographic version Nordenvinden og solen kom enging i strid om, hvemaf dem der var den stærkest. Broad phonetic transcription No enven en, so l, n km e i s d, i eth m v m a b, m d, v d, n s d, ash sd.